What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back for episode 2 of season 2 of the FI Manager 23 career mode. Or shall I say the 2024 Manager career mode. Because we're in season 2 now and we are trying to revive McLaren from the mud. We put them in after not developing as well as the other teams in the winter break. There's been a major update that's come out recently. There's now like a hard mode. Uh, but honestly we don't need the hard mode yet. Um, normal is the same level as what it was before, and um, hard mode is just like sicko mode. It's um, absolutely brutal. Um, I know a lot of a lot of people who still play this game, and hard mode is too hard for them. Uh, we will only go to hard mode when we're dominating. Uh, so maybe season three, maybe season four. Who bloody knows? Uh, but yeah, hard mode is is ridiculous. Anyway, let's um, let's see how we go on normal mode. Um, we are pretty mudded, so let's get into it. McLaren career modes. Last race, we struggled to get in the points. Uh, let's see if we can dig ourselves out of trouble today. It's been a while since I've played this game. Nearly a month. Um, so sorry about the break. Uh, we've been focusing on other things. But, uh, I'm ready to get into the swing of things. Both on, on Twitch with this series again, but also on the second channel. Welcome in everyone. Hel hello, hope you're all well. Um, please subscribe. And uh, leave a like. That would help ensure this series keeps going. Uh, because I think we all want to see this series complete and uh, get get to the end. We want to see glory with McLaren. So, so let's do that, shall we? Keeping the tires colder is actually fast. We'll have to verify that with Safso, our uh, new editor for this series. All right, 11 days to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. We have just under $8 million to spend on this car. Car performance isn't great. We're at the back of the field, pretty much. So we need to rectify that very swiftly. How do we do that? We upgrade the car. Uh, we have no design and research going on at the moment. So perhaps we need to uh, get the wheels in motion with that. Season 2 is going to be the sacrificial lamb, I think. To make sure that we win the title in Season 3. I thought this was going to be us winning the championship this year. But that ain't happening. So we might have to uh, rearrange our priorities. Anyway, do we have any hours left? Do we have any hours left on our stuff? Actually, manufacturing. Can't do research. Let's go to manufacturing. Uh, we've got a new underfloor. We've got side pods. We've got suspension all on the way very soon. Factory level 3 required if we want to do any more stuff than that. Okay, so we do have some upgrades coming for this race. So that is, that's good to see. So, drag reduction. We just got to find 4% on drag reduction. Lovely stuff. And we are golden front wing. See, it's hard to compare. Oh my word, the brake cooling. This is very interesting to compare. They got the same minimum lifespan as us, which is cool. Rear wing. Okay, a lot better drag reduction than us. Better low, medium, and high speed. We've got better lifespan, I suppose, and that's about it. Oh my god, they're miles better. Underfloor. Our underfloor is not bad, actually. Underfloor is great, so we probably don't need to do underfloor. We need to catch up in other areas. Suspension. A lot better than us there. So, every everything but the underfloor needs work. This is how we this is how we balance it out, chat. Okay, okay, okay. Drag reduction. We're fifth there. That's chassis. Okay, front wing. Now I'm starting to uh, paint a picture of what's going on here. We definitely need a better front wing. Rear wing. Oh my word, that is mudded too. Side pods. Yeah, it could be better. Underfloor. Underfloor's not bad. So that backs up our theory that the underfloor is decent. So we need to work on other areas going forward. Suspension. Suspension is absolutely dog. <laughs> the old suspension. Look at that. The old suspension is mudded. 20th everywhere. 
Quick recap of the standings then. Red Bull lead the Constructors with 44 points. We are on a big fat zero after our lovely showing in the last race. Love to see it. Drivers is also mudded. DHL fastest pit stop though. We are collecting the bag. Give it to me. Um, that's all that there is to say for now. We've got some parts being manufactured. And hopefully that will bring our season back on track. Five, three and two days respectively. Boom, boom, boom. Let's fast forward time. Actually, one more thing, one more thing. We're not doing any designing or researching, etc. So, I reckon we get cracking with that. 700k is very cheap for the chassis. Suspension is probably one of our most mudded things. We need low speed. Cheeky bit of airflow. That's all pretty balanced, uh, if I do say so myself. How many engineers? Let's whack. How many can we whack on this? This will take 40 days. Now 27 if we do that. Rushed. No, we don't want to rush it. Oh, no. Intense. We'll go intense. Better expertise. 3.9 mil. Whack that on. 100 mil left in the cost cap. Cash money. Do we design something else? I think we do. Uh, I do want to do front wing, but I feel like you want to save hours for that. Side pods. Oof. Definitely don't want to do underfloor. Decent gains there. Not really huge gains there, if I'm honest. What was it we lost on? We lost out a lot on side pods with the regulations. Again, some decent gains all round, which is what we could do with. Yeah, let's go with that. Three engineers. Let's intense this. Um, that leaves us with not much cash money's remaining. 900k. Chassis. I'm all about the drag reduction. Boom. Make it more potent. Okay, so we want to be filling out this as much as possible. But we don't have the cash to do. Rushed or intense. So I reckon we do normal. Slight gains, not huge. But it is better than nothing. All right, all right, away we go. Away we go. So manufacturing is complete. We have absolutely no upcoming events. That doesn't seem right. Driver development update. Improvements to Oscar's adaptability and control for Lando. Absolutely massive. Teo Porcher, get in my basket. What a reserve to have. 79 rated. Could actually be a solid replacement for Piastri if, um, you know, if he doesn't perform. We can now do another design slot. Front or rear wing? Probably front wing. I'm going to go for slightly more high speed. And we are going to hit next. With no hours on the wang. Intent. Oh, no! Are you serious? 200k short. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out from this and I'm just gonna wait until we can actually do it. Oh, rear wing is cheaper. We could do rear wing. Let's do rear wing. And that I'm sure we can do on um intent. Uh, let's hit next. One engineer. Intense, and we do just about have enough of that. Get it in my basket. We've spent 10 mil on the cost cap already today, but it's all necessary gains. All right, let's go. Manufacturing is complete on the underfloor. That might be a new spec. Let's give that a look in, shall we? We have a new spec chassis. Wait, we're working on another another chassis, aren't we? What does this do for rank on the grids? Uh, it is kind of worth it. Or do we just wait and then skip over skip over this? Because we've got we've got a another chassis on the way in 25 days, and it takes ages to do a chassis anyway. Like look at this, 10 days, 20 days to get it on both cars. We can't manufacture anything because cash. 
Good morning, Benjamin. I've spoken with the board, and I'm sorry to say that we're rather concerned about the team's recent poor performance. It was only one race. Let's calm down. The success of the team on race weekends is, of course, one of our primary ways of evaluating you as a team principal. We trust that you can turn the situation around, but we cannot operate on faith alone, so we must ask, when can we expect to see better results? At the next Grand Prix, I mean, we do have upgrades. We've got upgrades, so we might be able to meet the target. We might be able to get a point or two. Uh, we're going to double down. This could be the end of our career. We're going to promise at the next Grand Prix. We can do it. Come on, lads. If we deliver, we look amazing. If we undeliver, then I'm, I'm fired. I think we're going to skip over this chassis, even though it gives us much better results. And the new design chassis has been completed in 19 days. So by the time it gets to both cars, it's already going to be um, superseded. I'm good at the game, I promise. I promise. And I'm going to show you as we head to the race weekend. <laughs> time to cook in qualifying. The Crow McLaren is ready to go. We got 100% set satisfaction. I can do words on Oscar Piastri. Uh, meaning he is fully confident heading into this quality session. Lando though. Oh yes, we got optimal on braking stability. So the rest of the setup is optimal as well. We just need to give him time to figure out the rest, even though we didn't change anything else. Uh, it was only the toe out which affects braking stability. So we've got 100% on both drivers, which is absolutely massive. Now let's go out there, put our best components on the car that we have available to us. Uh, side pods, whack that on car two. I think underfloor also needs to go on Lando as well. Suspension, whack. There we go. Best bits are on. And we're going to leave the suspension, uh, the engine components there. A bit worrying that we're down to 78 and 72% already after the first race. But it's time to cause an upset. I hope in this first race, the first race didn't count for me. Bahrain is a distant memory. It's long gone. We've forgotten about it. The season starts today. Can we get into Q3 with this mudded car? I hope so. I'm going to go Inters just for this setup confidence. Inters Championship. Creator Series meets Manager. Let's go. We will be last. We're last by 20 seconds. It's absolutely fine. Uh, soft tires on now for Oscar. Car setup. Boom, 100%. Things we love to see. And now we'll send out both drivers with a bit of uh, free space, I think. Uh, bring back to the pits, please. Norris goes P7, Oscar P9. So we are on target for Q2 so far. But everyone else, I hope, stays behind us. Bottas out. Yeah, we're safe. Woo! That's gone better than Bahrain already. Uh, two tenths to danger zone, and we only did one run. Lovely stuff. Norris has all the clear air in the world. Beautiful. Wait, is that Gasly coming out of the pit lane? Oh my god, please don't get in the way. Please don't get in the way. Please don't get in the way. Oh yes. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, no traffic for us, no traffic for us. All right, Norris is first to get his lap done. Do we get into Q3? That is the question. No improvement first sector from Norris. This track looks different compared to the Codemasters version. I want to see green second sector, please. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. Hey ben, are you actually going to win a race this year for McLaren, or are you going to be like Lando and get P2 all the time? Probably the latter. I mean, I'd be happy with P2s all the time with where this car is sat. No improvement. No improvement. Maybe we push again. We've got to push again because we have the time for both cars. And we might as well. We're absolutely muddered. 
One driver is making it in. The oh, no. We're both out unless we improve on this second lap. We're going all in. It is Q3 or bust. We're probably going to run out of fuel. Lando low on battery and fuel. Out of battery. Run up to the line. Probably out of fuel. Oh, wait. Cancel call in. Norris wasn't improving anyway. It's fine. The focus is on Piastri now. He's green in his first two sectors. No battery and no fuel up to the line. No improvement. It is not Q3 for us today. <sighs> it's about where we expected, to be honest. A knockout in Q1 would have been a disaster. A Q3 appearance would have been absolute delight from me. We're close-ish to the points. We're close-ish to Alpine, who were our rivals last season. But we've been jumped by Haas over the winter. Jumped by Mercedes again. Oh dear. This is fine. Uh, estimated race time is saying... Medium soft? They're all the same. Let's go aggro. Yep, not good. I reckon we have to add an extra pit stop to this. Soft, medium, medium, potentially. Nice early undercut. On to mediums. We could go softs, probably. Yeah, we definitely could. That's the quickest strategy. On 14, 39. Softs, medium, softs. We have another medium available if we, uh, you know, make a super early box for a pit stop, uh, safety car or whatever. With Lando. With Lando, with Lando, with Lando. I reckon, because he's starting behind Oscar, we'll start him on mediums. And then hopefully they won't have to race each other. And just stick him behind. 1440 plays 1439. Two different ways of slicing the cake here. But I think like I think we're pretty flexible with uh, whatever we do. Good chance for red flags around here, so you do want to underfuel around here. Plus we've got the Renault engine, which is good on fuel economy anyway. Let's go full attack mode off the start. And we won't need to do too much fuel management. We could probably run in standard and get to the end without any fuel saving. That's how good I think this car is. Anyway, let's give this a whirl and uh, hopefully the strategy will look after us. The aim for this race is points. Let's hope we can do it. Let's go. The drivers are lined up on the grid here at the Jeddah Corniche circuit, preparing for 50 flat out laps under the lights. And here's George Russell settling in for the race. Fighting for points is definitely possible from P8. The team just needs to get their strategy right. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? We're now moments away from this. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Here we go. And it's lights Race out. two. And away we go. I hope. McLaren can get a point. Come on. Right on board with Piastri. I think we're going to go aggro on the aggression. Let's go for it. Come Up on. to P12. Hamilton next, the seven time Formula One world champion. Norris loses a spot to Albon. And I've got to say, that Williams looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. P10 for Oscar. Never took two cars there. Can we see the replay, please? Let's take a closer look. Along the straights here. There's the opening. And it's not just one place they Oh there. my word! What a move! Straight into the top ten. Let's go. Gastry's on the move. 
Gets past Russell. He might even get the Haas. I tell you what, if we push the envelope a little bit more, we probably could have got him to dive bomb Magnuson. So we fall back, but we know we've got good pace. This is very encouraging. Good tyres compared to other people as well. Stroll must be unused. Or he's had a lockup or something. Four seconds behind. Okay, deploy. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Go for it. We've got to clear these guys. They're a bit slow. I fear that they're holding us up. I don't like this. 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 We're pinched in here. Is he going to go the inside? He could have. He could have if he wanted to. I'm going to try and break this DRS train. Time to go. <gasps> Round the outside there? Are you serious? Piastri, you madman. Now he's up to eighth. Let's have a look, Let's have a look at this again. This was insane. The, car of the opportunity begging to be taken. You just don't do that. And Oscar Piastri climbs higher. That's one of the best overtakes I've ever seen. Ever seen. Overtake around the outside there. That is bravery. Can we hold on to this uh, position? I hope so. I very much hope so. We need to cling on to the DRS of the next group of cars. Lando loses a spot. Polarizing. Fortunes right now at McLaren. Burn all the battery. Get in the DRS and in the slipstream. VSC. Red flag! Red flag. Red flag. Both cars are safe. Bottas and Snowd are out. Oh. Unlucky. So, this changes the race. This probably helps Piastri, if I'm honest. We could probably go uh, medium, medium to the end. Or, well, Lando could go soft, soft, but to the end. Potentially. Red flag active. That was a good time to get the double overtake for Piastri. He is now cooking. Uh, unfortunately though, that's burned through one of our only sets of soft tires we have left. Uh, that said though, medium, medium to the ends could potentially work. Uh, this is good for us because we underfueled. Everyone gains fuel on F1 Manager when there's a red flag. Um, so a lot of other cars will be heavier than us. Look, we do have to use a different tire compound and I, because we've got two of these left, I reckon we chuck one on Norris now. We get that out of the way and we can go back to mediums maybe for the rest of the race. It's uh, it's a tricky one for Lando. But I think this is the way we have to do it. After a pause in this race, we are all set. I just hope we've got decent battery in the cars. I think Oscar's a bit low. Oh, we're fully charged again. Oh, huge. Oh, let's go. Uh, we're up to P7 now. Let's push for clear air. Or not. Let's just get overtaken. Good. Very good. Very good. And there's been quite a crash. Here's the replay. Now this was at turn one. Tries to get by. Oh, and the car's there. Unable to keep out of each other's way. And they'll have to pick themselves up after that. Uh, please no damage. 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 There's damage. Front wing. Uh, something seems wrong. 
Okay, copy. Stand by. Okay, that could be worse. That could be worse. We could have got damage. We, uh, we, uh, we could have got a penalty. Oh, wow. we got investigations now in uh, FY Manager. We are going to build ourselves a strategy. Okay, we don't have to go super aggro with those tires, so they will last longer than what they we think they will. Probably go to here. Great, I love how it doesn't let me edit that. They definitely go to the end. Says that's one second quicker, but we'll assess things as we go. Norris, I know, could even go for another set of softs. Let's build another one with mediums. And then we have the choice. Let's hopefully stay with Russell. It's going to be a long stint on mediums with this damaged wing. Let's use George's pace to be dragged along, please. Oh, yes. Battling both Mercs here. Did we get Hamilton? Yes. Yes. Just give up, Lewis. You're holding us both up, dudes. What a mess. Oh, we've been re-overtaken. Very good. Anyway, the two bulls are fighting. Max versus Checo. Perez takes the lead. Christian Horner currently pulling his hair out. As the bulls are side by side. Still. No one wants to back down from this. Well, spicy stuff. This is very spicy. Imagine if they take each other out. It's going to be absolutely insane. Just the two quickest cars who are miles ahead of anyone else. If they had a double DNF, that'd be absolutely huge. Fortunately, I don't think we're that lucky. Who cares about our drivers? Let's just sit back and watch this entertainment. <laughs> Verstappen takes the lead. Oh, please keep battling, guys. I love to see this stuff. If only real life was this good and this close. The next pit stop will be crucial. Gasly shuffled down to 12 now that Hamilton's got past. Probably time for some team orders. Just get out the way, Oscar. I didn't want to do that, but now you've forced me. Hello? Hello? How many times have I told you to get out of the way of your teammates? Jesus. And then he does it in the worst way possible. Slows down on a critical traction zone and immediately loses two seconds. Are you okay? Now he's got to absolutely yeet his tyres to catch back up again. Maybe this pushing will uh, give him some personal best and some confidence. I can hope for that at least. Back in the game. Well, uh, it didn't cost us anything in the end. Okay, we're cooking. Lovely stuff. And look at that. We're in DRS. Beautiful. We're now just stretching so that we can get both cars in for mediums to the end. Two people box. Okay. That is Hamilton in. Oh, and double stacking. Oh. Well done, Mercedes. Well done. You just played us. Played us very well there. All right, attack modes. Push. Deploy. I reckon we bring Norris in this lap. We respond. And uh, we go mediums. What tires have they gone on to? I didn't really pay attention. I was too busy being shocked by their decision making. Sauce for Russell. Mediums for Hamilton. So hopefully we can get Russell by the end. Might be making an extra pit stop. Can Sauce go to the end from here? I'm not sure they can. Anyway, 
Now pit stop. No! Very good. Four point one. Uh, man, that's cost us a bit there. We would have jumped Ocon and Hamilton without that. We would have jumped both of them. Here comes the pit stop. And this is going to be a mudded pit stop too as well because of the wing change. So no DHL fastest pit stop for us today. Just watch the white line on exit. Absolutely cursed. Astri comes out behind. Guan Yu Zhou. The focus is on Norris then. Can Norris get us in the points? Have one on old mediums. Stroll needs the box. They're not in our fight. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. We're going to have to hope for uh, a mistake, I think, for uh, one or two drivers. We have to get ahead of Albon. He's holding us up so much on this Williams with old tyres. Yeah, so alrighty, boxes. Don't overtake. We don't have the pace. Use Magnuson. Okay, alright, we're going for it then. Or we're we squabbling. This is the worst outcome. Why are we doing this? Norris, I didn't say to do this. Let him go. That was stupid. Do we go for it now? No, I reckon we harvest. Charge up the battery and then we go for it. One more lap of saving. Then we cook. Let him cook. Here we go. This time we're actually going for the move. Don't get killed. Lovely stuff. Let's go. We got 73% tires versus 69, 52, 68. We got better tires. Let's use them. Last lap, 1 minute 30.0, 1.4 seconds quicker. We won't have battery this lap. Does Magnuson get the RS? Not this time. 1.7 seconds now. Go on deploy again. Oh my god, we're so close. We are so close now. To the promised land. Oh my god, we've done it. Guys, we've done it. We're in the fight. And we have five laps to get these guys. Let's go. Stroll boxes. We're, we're top ten. We're top ten, guys. Huge. We couldn't even get P8. We couldn't even get P8. If we can get in between one of these guys, that'll be huge for us. Full attack modes. Let's go. Hunting time. <laughs> Hunting time indeed. Hunting we will go. Hopefully it's hunting and not punting. Who do we go for here? Can we get up the inside of both? Please get up. Please change your lane. Change lane. Oh, nice. Nice move. Nice move. Nice move. Nice move. Use battery on exit. And we're clear. Why did we get Hamilton? Bloody menus are in the way. I didn't see me getting Hamilton. P7. P7. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Question is though, do we use battery? Do we use battery to get away? 
Verstappen starts the last lap of the Grand Prix. In the end, he was clear of Perez, despite their their squabbles and how close they were at points. I might go full attack mode. I'm eight tenths clear. And you can push. I might be able to break DRS here. Nine tenths. I'm going for it. If I use a bit of battery here. Oh, that's not a great corner for us. I've used all my battery. We're nine tenths clear. This is the last DRS zone for a bit. Then I can gain some time through the high speed S's. I think we can be one second clear if I play my cards right. One second. One second clear. We risked it for the chocolate biscuit. And now we're loving life. Full attack on tires. Let's go conserve as well. We are clear. Save some fuel Verstappen for the end. Over the finish line and today's winner. Verstappen wins the Grand Prix. We're going to back off the pace now. Look at that. So much pace. So much pace. Over the Haases and the Mercedes in the end. The tyre wear. The tyre saving from Lando coming in clutch in the end. From, what was it, P13? P14 at the start of this race. Lando Norris halves his grid position and gets P7 in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Who needs fuel? Who needs fuel for the uh, FIA analysis? We had just enough to get to the end. And Oscar. Well, front wing damage. And poor confidence ruined his day. But a lot of positives to take out of this Grand Prix. We could have had two cars in the top 10 if we um, had a clean race. Let's go. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. I tell you what, they had to work hard for those points today. What a phenomenal achievement that is. And you'd love to see this. The whole team celebrating this magnificent result. And no doubt, the staff and fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievement. What an excellent way to take a second win of the season with a composed performance today. And finally, now the drivers can relax after an eventful weekend at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Huge. Um, six points. Lovely stuff. Uh, that puts Lando up to the top 10. Top 10 then with that result. I wasn't expecting him to be that high. But we'll take it. Constructors. That's big for us. P6. P6 in the in the constructors. Oh, that means so much, Lando. What a drive that was. Odds were against him. Um Yeah, but he managed to uh just get on with the job and pull out a really clutch result for us. Uh no appearance inside the top 10 for the fastest pit stop. A front wing change and a pit stop issue kind of ruined that, so we get no points from today. Red Bull overtake us in that championship. Uh cash money wise. Hey, reserve driver. A little bit of experience. Cash money-wise, we get 3.6 mil. You can't see it. But there it is. 3.6 mil. For this race weekend. And that leaves us with the Australian Grand Prix in the next race. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to this new channel to see plenty more uh, F1 Manager content. Maybe some random games content as well. Let me know what you want to see on uh, this channel. Uh, maybe we could do some more stuff. I do. I know I have a Rocket League video kicking about. I have some Fall Guys I can upload uh, that's already edited. So if there's anything of that nature that you want to see alongside this content, let me know. And uh, we can get cooking on the second channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll see you next time.